The free speech protections of the First Amendment are so complicated, it's no surprise that most Americans seem to misunderstand them. Free speech is anything but absolute. In fact, it only prevents the government from intruding on speech. The First Amendment gives a person no right whatsoever to say whatever they want on a private company's platform. Of course, all speech is subject to some regulation, whether or not it's on a private forum. You can't threaten people, you can't slander people. There are some limitations. But as much as social media companies like Facebook or Twitter feel like publicly available forums for anybody, they are anything but. These social media companies are privately owned. They're not owned by the government. So the First Amendment doesn't even apply to them. For example, a private bar or restaurant can kick out just about anybody for any reason, whether they're not wearing a shirt or they're too intoxicated. Now, the reason bars kick out drunk people is that drunk people are a liability for the bar. But social media companies don't even have that liability. Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act says that they are not liable for what other people post on their forum. It would be like a bar that made a lot of money from drunk patrons buying drinks, but then had zero liability when those drunks turned around and attacked other innocent people. There is a developing philosophical debate that a social media company or an internet service provider may become so important to speech that they are a kind of public forum. In the future, there may be legislation saying that Facebook or Twitter or whatever comes after those things is a kind of public forum, and it may even be regulated regulated by the government. Perhaps Section 230 will be replaced by laws that allow for liability for internet service providers or social media companies for what is said on their forum. First Amendment law is constantly evolving because the way we speak is constantly evolving, and the forum in which we speak evolves as well. It may seem unfair that a web hosting service would summarily dump a company's website because they don't like the company's speech. Whether it's Twitter permanently suspending President Trump or Simon & Schuster declining to do business with Josh Hawley, companies can't be forced by the government to put out speech that they don't want to put out there. In fact, even if a person is completely denied access to speaking on the internet, nothing prevents that person from opening their window and shouting out onto a crowded street. Ultimately, the First Amendment only limits government action. It gives a private person no right to say whatever they want in a private forum. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.